Philippine is upgrading existing facilities in Cagayan Islands. Manila, the Philippines is now upgrading existing facilities in the nine islands that comprise the municipality of Cagayan, with the bulk of improvements centered on Pargesa Island. In a pre-SONA forum aired over state-run PTV4 Wednesday, Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana said these upgrades are aimed at improving the living conditions of Filipino troops and civilians deployed and living in these islands. For the first time since the 1970s, Pargesa Island has received major infrastructure upgrades, namely, a ship beaching ramp and a sheltered port for our fishermen, said Lorenzana, chair of the Security, Justice, and Peace Cluster. With the completion of these facilities, Lorenzana said it is now much easier to proceed with other projects such as the concreting of the runway, the Rancudo airfield, and its apron and construction of other structures for the residents and troops stationed there. Out of the seven islands and two reefs being controlled by the Philippines in the Spratlys, Pargesa is the largest measuring 37.2 hectares. Other Philippine possessions in the area include Licus Island which measures 18.6 hectares, Parala Island 12.7 hectares, Lawick Island 7.93 hectares, Kota Island 6.45 hectares, Patag Island, 0.57, Panata Island, 0.44, Rizal and Ayungan Reefs. Lorenzana earlier said transportation of materials needed to repair and then maintain the Rancudo airfield will be made easier with the completion of the Pargesa Island beaching ramp. Very significant, as with the beaching ramp, we can now bring in materials, equipment to continuously repair and later on to maintain our runway, Rancudo airfield, he added. Prior to the completion of the beaching ramp last June, equipment and supplies could only be brought in by ship who have to anchor 500 meters away from the shore and transfer it to a smaller boat so that it can be carried to the island. So it's very tedious practice, and very expensive and we can only do that during calm weather, Lorenzana said. During the Habagat, or southwest monsoon season, even fishermen are very wary to go in the area due to rough weather and large waves. With a budget of 267.18 million Philippine pesos, the construction of the beaching ramp on Pargesa Island is one of several projects aimed at improving the living conditions of the people there. A total of 1.3 billion Philippine pesos worth of projects are also in the pipeline, including the repair and concreting of the runway that has been damaged by erosion. PNA. Upgrading facilities. Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana, Center, and several military officials lead the inauguration of the beaching ramp at the Pargesa Island on June 9, 2020. In a pre-SONA forum on Wednesday, July 22, 2020, Lorenzana said these upgrades of facilities in the Cagayan group of islands are aimed at improving the living conditions of Filipino troops and civilians deployed and living in these islands. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel, thank you.